Dodge, and it's got the Coachman conversion. So uh, as you can see there, uh, it's got you know it's uh, been upgraded by uh, from the factory, right from uh, the, the Coachman buys them right from Dodge, and then converts them into these. Uh, conversion vans. This is uh, everything uh, that's going on in here. Um, it's a uh, considered a uh, twin style uh, camper. Um, a lot of these you see are uh, the dinette is in the back and that's where the bed is and then they have a shower in here as well with a with a you know toilet and what it does really is it takes up space and you're not able to in my opinion live more uh, inside the van if you'd like to so this one the shower is only on the outside but it does have uh, a toilet in the back which I'll show you but these just fold down and you pull these out and there's some stabilizer bars that go down here in the middle and you're able to create a, a uh, about a queen size bed and I'm about 6'2 and I, my feet barely hang off um, just a little bit so Works out pretty good, and that was part of the reason why I decided to pick this particular van, is because of the longer uh, available bed. Because um, I don't want to be cramped. Most of them you're going to sleep, you know, this way, and this, you know, we can sleep, uh, you know, vertically. And uh, I suppose you could go either way, but most of them with the rear dinette, you know, you're. Your, I feel is a little more cramped so I like this style so this table you know it comes out and it's real simple and uh, the bed just folds down and there's storage underneath not on both sides but there is storage and it's got you know everything you, you really need you know from home away from home um, it's got you know two burner stove and I put you know this little thing in there to uh, to keep it from rattling around when I'm driving, it drives me up the wall. And uh, we got this little fruit hammock here, works out pretty slick, keeps the fruit um, from, you know, basically getting uh, too bruised up or spoiled. And then we come up with an ingenious d design to do the uh, paper towels, you know, right, right on this thing too. So it's kind of cool. But uh, all your gauges and everything are right up here. Um, there's actually lights uh, that come on real easy. I'm connected to power right now. So, you know, I can check all my, my uh, you know, activities of what I got for uh, gas, fresh water, holding, you know, gray. I can check all that right now. And actually, I have a TV, uh, too. So it should be uh, ready to go. I just uh, can go in here, and uh, I should be able to just flip it right on, and it should come on. Um, I don't know if it'll pick up a channel right now because I'm in a different zone or a different uh, area where I may have to uh, scan channels, but you can see uh, something's on. So, and this campsite has cable. So if I wanted to, I gotta figure out how to work all that out. But, um, so yeah, a lot of storage. We got stuff up there, you know, food and chips. And microwave, I'm not a big user of a microwave. So it's really gonna be a storage, uh, you know, like more cupboard area, but who knows, you know, maybe warm water or whatever. But um, when I bought this, uh, this TV was mounted a, a different way and which prevented you from actually utilizing the storage behind it. So I kind of manipulated it and uh, put on these, uh, you know, I don't know if you want to call them the best kind of brackets, but it, it's a hinge system where it allows us to flip down and then you're able to get into the back and, uh, and store more stuff so that's actually where all the bedding is and uh, I've got a tent back there I've got like a little mattress pad uh, a, a twin size or like a queen size uh, uh, sleeping bag two pillows uh, sheets and some other bedding so there's a lot of stuff that fits up there so it's a a lot of uh, useful space that was being wasted and, and I converted it to allow me to keep things a little more on the clutter free side so and uh, some more storage up here. You know, this is back in the day. You know, this is where like you put your VCR and and you know you could have some other you know, audio of, of whatever stuff up there. And that's where you would keep it because there, if I dug all that out, you'd be able to see there's some actual uh, places to to mount uh, or to plug in rather. 
And then there was probably a tube TV back in there. This one's actually a flat screen, um, you know, digital. So, um, so it's a little different. Doesn't take up as much space as like the old style does. So, um, right now, if you look in, I, you can't see through the windows. I actually have a cover uh, over the windows for privacy. Uh, I put that on just as soon as I got here because I'm uh, backed in and I'm facing towards uh, p other people in the in the campground. Not that there's anybody out, but I just figured I'd get some privacy so I could do these video, uh, this video here. But uh, you can see um, some of the uh, the seats and stuff. I mean, it's not you know super nice, but it's very comfortable and it's effective and you know it's got a lot of uh, you know storage and stuff in here and this thing's actually kind of cool it flips up and uh, you can store stuff in there and you know it actually works like a table so you know if you want to sit here you can flip this chair around this passenger chair captain's chair flips around and uh, you're able to you know eat or whatever it's got an upgraded uh, stereo so it actually jams out pretty good but yeah, normal instrument cluster, you know, nothing fancy, no heads-up display, no computer, you know, electronic uh, information being, you know, provided or displayed. And uh, you know, I just put a mat down there just to keep things clean. And I got my water system here. It's a three-gallon with a, a little pump. Uh, keep uh, fresh water on hand because I'm not going to use all the water um, from the system. Uh, I just use that for basic stuff, you know, washing dishes or, or whatever. But um, it's pretty slick. And then I got my little screen here that I was talking about earlier from, um, from Ace Hardware. So I'll put that up in a little bit if the bugs start to get bad. But lots of storage. Um, there's all sorts of cabinets up there. Um, all sorts of, you know, you can put different things. And, you know, air conditioning. It's got heater, uh, furnace. Uh, right now, I could if I if I felt really hot, all I'd have to do is just kick this on, and I got AC. I mean, it, this thing cools down real quick. I got little pockets or, or uh, ducts that uh, you can open up or close all over the place, and uh, it's pretty neat. And there's a fan there. I can have it open or, or close. I can turn it on whenever I want, but I can open it up and. Uh, Oops, and I should be able to, you know, turn it on, keep air movement in here if I wanted to. So it's kind of slick to be able to do that. But, you know, back to the central air, you know, all I got to do is just turn it on or off. I got heat. The heat just works off of propane, and it uh, comes out uh, down here. So there's the, the heat ducts, and uh, it does kick out a lot of heat. And then these are like the brackets, uh, you know, where the for the bed. Um, anyway, the table will come out, no problem. Oh, it's also got a, a generator, so I've got electrical hookup. I've got generator power, and then I also got auxiliary power in the back to run basic stuff. Um, like I can charge my laptop or phone or whatever. But uh, I'll turn on some more lights here so you can see what's going on. But back here is where the little biffy is where... You can, uh, I got some stuff stored, but yeah, there's a, a toilet back here and uh, a little closet with some drawers and things. So it's kind of cool. There's a little vacuum and I got a coat hanging in case I need it. These little, by the way, there's little can holders here or, or whatever, you know, if you're you know, having a drink or whatever, you want to put it in there. There's some, some some speakers and I brought some upgraded ones so I'm, I'm all locked in but more storage for whatever um, you know all sorts of storage so I got really um, a lot of storage I'm not even utilizing um, I mean that's a garbage can I'm gonna put that out but I mean these are all empty right now so I and as things go and uh, yeah I mean these are just regular shades and uh, we got little Little lights here that can come on or off. It's pretty slick. I keep my fly swatter up here. So if I can get any bugs in here, I can uh, finish them off, get, get rid of them. But uh, yeah, so anyway, just another uh, quick view of things. The refrigerator, 
works out pretty slick. Um, it runs off a of three-way power, I believe. So it can run off of propane, it can run off auxiliary, or it's running off of uh, electrical hookup right now. But, you know, it's got a little freezer in there and uh, you know, I got it stocked with some food and whatever, but the freezer's, you know, right up there. So it's kind of, it's a pretty big size for, for what I need and uh, more storage for food and everybody needs a junk drawer. So I got stuff in there. I got a knife if somebody wants to, you know, um, get crazy. Not that uh, I hope to ever use it, but anyway, so I converted um, most of these uh, lights over to LED so they don't get hot. And uh, the previous owner had done uh, half of them. He didn't do both sides. So you can kind of turn one on or both on. So it works out pretty slick. And there's a clock and a, and a, uh, a mirror. So you can see, I can see that I need to shave. But yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. Oh, the sink and everything is, is here. It's a decent size. Um, running water, all hot water if I need it. And the shower outside also will give you hot water. So um, that's actually, this guy right here will turn the hot water on, but you gotta turn the pump on too for water. So there's a few things right there is actually the pump. So you gotta do a few things to, to use everything. But once you learn how to use it, it's not so complicated. It does seem a little complicated, but a couple more things up here just to, to make a note. Um, there's a uh, little st more storage here with, you know, glove box. There's little storage uh, areas on the side. Power windows and locks. It's kind of cool. Um, there's actually down below here, uh, you can't really see it, but there's a, uh, you gotta take this flashlight. But if you look back there, there's a little, a little, uh, a little guy there you can slide over and that gives you air while, uh, for your feet while you drive. So if you get uh, hot feet, sweaty feet or whatever, you know, you can uh, cool off. You can open or close, it's kind of slick. So anyway, we'll go back outside here. But before we do that, so I can show you the back, I'll uh, unlock all the doors and uh, we'll take a look here. So we'll go back out, try not to hit my head. I've uh, already had to visit the chiropractor once and I think I got a concussion out of the deal. Um, it was from that area right up there. So um, when you're jumping back and forth uh, between the captain's chair uh, seats and back here, it's a considerable uh, drop in height. And uh, you know, I'm like I said, I'm about six, almost six two. I think about six one. And you know, I can almost stand up tall completely without hunching at all. So. Uh, when you decide to come down into here, you got to really duck your head. And if you don't, um, you're only going to do it once or twice. And same way with these corners over here. They're the same way. They're, uh, they can get, they can get pretty, uh, uh they can hurt you. Now I upgraded a carbon monoxide monitor. Uh, another light here. I got a little, uh, mirror. It's an unbreakable one. So if I want to shave outside, keeping track of the humidity and temperature, so it's 70 to 6 degrees, 34%. So let's go back out and uh, see what's going on. So anyway, um, I got the cover right now. Um, how this works is you just pull this off and it's magnetic. So there's a little magnet under here and it just sticks here and then this just hooks up to the top. We got an awning. Um, but anyway, uh, back to this, it just covers up everything so you get a little bit of privacy and it works out pretty good. So she's a big bad Dodge. Um, needs a little TLC, but for right now, this is what's uh, what we got going on. It's what's going to have to work. So uh, there's also some uh, other covers that I can use on the inside. So if I didn't want to use those on the outside, there's another version that hangs uh, around uh, on the inside. So, um, but you got a lot of access here for. Uh, different things with inside the van, uh, obviously your uh, drains and things, um, water to connect water, gas, sewer. Uh, there's a lot of ways to uh, to, to um, change that out. 
and uh, the power and in this particular case it's really close by it's just right there so this campsite's you know got it all uh, really and it was only 27 bucks for a night so so anyway uh, let's open this up real quick so you can see what's going on here so anyway there's uh, the toilet and you can see you can see all the way back through where we we're just at but this little cover comes off here and uh, you get yourself a nice nice little toilet and uh, I've used it uh, once so far um, number one and uh, just uh, flushed it down you got to make sure the pumps running and uh, the auxiliary battery is down here you can see there's a little sticker so it's underneath here and uh, I got a little inverter here so I can uh, I can uh, charge different things or whatever but there is some wall outlets in there but you know storage you know all sorts of junk storage I got uh, you know things to you know keep things organized and tools and whatever else but yeah there's this little thing that goes over there and you get some privacy if you have to go to the restroom you know some curtains here a little storage down here so uh, yeah it's got a little like I said a lot of bumps and bruises things are a little worn out but it must be a Viking uh, top it must be the brand of the uh, the extension of the roof must be the brand but um, a lot of bumps and bruises you know if you look at the bumper there you can definitely tell it's been bumped into and you know the gaps aren't right like this side looks a little bit better but not the worst and, you know even like the tail light's got a little bit of a you know nick on it or whatever there's little scratches and stuff all over it really drives me nuts but nothing i can do at this point uh you know these units cost a lot of money um this one was reasonable so um, it'll be easier to sell also but um, here's where the shower is so you can um, take a outdoor shower you get like a, a curtain to go around you you can unroll the, um, the awning and hang the shower head up there and and uh, do it you know get to clean yourself up so so anyway um, I'm at 25 minutes right now uh, for this video and I thought it was a pretty good we got a train coming through over there, but I thought it was a pretty good um, video just to get things started. So just give you an idea what the campsite is looking like. Uh, I'm going to get my uh, kebabs going here, and I'll see if I can continue to update and uh, give you guys uh, information on how things are going through the trip and uh, where we're heading, where we're going all those kinds of things and uh, one other thing that's kind of cool with this is this will flip down and it creates a step so that I can step on it to clean the uh, windshield and uh, get up uh, to the roof there area if I want to so I thought that's kind of cool nothing uh, nothing earth shattering you know but, but every little thing helps right? um, you know uh, uh, yeah, I thank you for staying with me, but it's probably pretty boring. I've said that I was only going to try to do videos about five to seven minutes to ten minutes long. So anyway, uh, I'm going to head back up to the van, get some food, and I'm going to sign off for now. So thanks again for watching, and uh, look for more information on this trip, which is going to be about four months long, three to four months long through several states and over 12,000 miles is what we're looking to do out of this bad boy here so out of the ram 3500 1997 so we're going back up and uh we'll talk to you all a little bit later